Hey, do I look happy? I hope I do. I'm sure I do. In fact, I'm purring because my favorite bookstore in town, an independent bookseller called Pages for All Ages, is having a book sale. 40% off every book in the store. I just went and I'm going to show you what I bought. So let's see. I'm going to be digging in my bag and bringing out books and telling you why I'm interested in reading them. I'm not reviewing. I'm just previewing. Here we go. Let's see what we've got first. First, my wallet. Significantly lighter right now. Let's see. What's this? Very long receipt. Okay. Here's a book called Connections. And it says, From Ptolemy's Astrolab to the Discovery of Electricity, How Inventions Are Linked, and how they cause change throughout history. I just, I like science history. This one looks very interesting. I like to see how things are connected. So here we go. There's that one. Next book, Microcosm by Carl Zimmer. Um, this is a book about E. coli. I think I probably know enough about E. coli and its contributions to molecular biology, having studied a lot of microbiology as an undergraduate. However, I have to say, this guy has a really awesome website where there's a lot of um, science tattoos, so people can send in their science tattoos. So you should go to his website to see that. So um, let's see the next book. Um, I think like the science section of the bookstore is almost sold out. I left the ones I've already read, and I've also left the ones um, that I'm not interested in, like symmetry and chaos and math and stuff like that. So um, this book, just a classic, the Bill Bryson book. Um, called uh, A Short History of Nearly Everything. It's just a classic in science writing, so uh, definitely worthwhile. I checked it out from the library, just thought it'd be nice to own it. So here's this one to own. Uh, let's see, next book. This was a book I've looked at a few times in the store, and it's called The Invention of Air, and it's the story of science, faith, revolution, and the birth of America by Stephen Johnson. So, um, just interested. Again, it's history of science, even though it's chemistry and not biology. You know, chemistry is so essential to biology and we all need to breathe air. So, here we go. Next book. Oh, oh, it's, whoops, I'm dropping. For all you headbangers out there is the book called ACDC. Oh, not about the group ACDC. It is about the savage tale of the first standards war. Okay, so we're, we're talking about, you know, which, which standards should be used for electricity in America. So, I'm really interested in this one. Okay, next. It is called uh, Sun in a Bottle, and it's The Strange History of Fusion and the Science of Wishful Thinking. And this guy wrote Zero, so if you know anything about that book. Um, I'm looking forward to that again, History of Science. Okay, next book. <laughs> I grew up in uh, the, on the Pacific Island, and there's just uh, so much about Pacific life, uh, ocean life, island life that I enjoy, so I thought this book would be interesting called Wild Caribbean, uh, The Hidden Wonders of the World's Most Famous Islands. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I had no idea the ocelot was there, so um, it's a night. It looks beautiful, don't you think? So I can't wait. Nice picture book. Next book is called... Can you read that? An Ocean of Air. I picked this one up because um, Mary Roach suggested it. And Mary Roach wrote a lot of awesome books. I'm sure I'll be talking to, about her at some point. Next book. Huge book. You see that? Ocean, the world's last wilderness revealed. And again, this is um, just one of those uh, picture books, nice reference books. Good to have around, but this I will probably be looking at this weekend. Excited. Next book. Sky in a Bottle. Oh, wait a minute. There was sun in a bottle, now sky in the bottle. How do we do this? Anyway, so this is a book about um, the atmosphere. Just like um, this book, these are both about the atmosphere. So I think they have uh, slightly different styles, hopefully a different approach. Um, I'll probably know a lot about the atmosphere when this is all said and done. Uh, next book. Oops, a bag. Sorry. Um, this one, given the cold weather, this book looked really interesting to me. The Field Guide to Snowflakes. This is another classic book that should just be on every scientist shelf called Microbe Hunters. A good Evo Devo book, meaning evolution and development book, called Your Inner Fish, A Journey into the 3.5 Billion Year History of the Human Body. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm really looking forward to hearing this, reading that one. 
And oh, finally, I guess I'm saving the best for last. This one's called Death from the Skies. These are the ways the world will end. This is by the guy who has that bad astronomy site. So he's that bad astronomer, I think, meaning irreverent astronomer, not bad as incompetent. So um, this, <laughs> this one I'm looking forward to simply because the very back has a review that says, reading this book is like getting punched in the face by Carl Sagan. <laughs> now, hopefully you all know Carl Sagan's a famous astronomer. Definitely interested in this book, and if getting punched in the face by Carl Sagan is the only way I'm going to meet him, I'll be in line to meet Carl Sagan.